Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and uh, we have a lot to talk about because we are talking about garlic and magics, okay? Eleanor is back with us, and she wants to be seen, like, she was telling me in between videos, you know, don't take me off the table, and she wants me to make a guarantee that she will be the taxidermy piece for um, next Taxidermy Thursday. And sweetie, I don't know, it'll just be how I feel, but I promise that you're first in line. Okay? So Garlic and Magics, I have it here in Scrabble tiles, and at the end I'll pull you up and show you what I've done. It was really hard to get an angle for this video. I've been outside all day, so I wanted to come in and do some videos. I might do a, a video outside in a little bit, because it's just kind of getting really beautiful out there. Mm. So let's talk about Garlic. So much to say. Scott Cunningham, Magical Herbalism, first thing he says, and we're also listening to The Cure here, just kind of lightly. It's a mix. Uh, garlic. Folk name, poor man's treacle, uh, garlic, garlicky, and clove garlic. <clears throat> Gender, hot. Makes sense, it's spicy. Planet Mars, element fire, associated deity, Hecate. I want to get into Hecate, because my favorite, like, YouTube witch, Lady Grave Dancer, she's all about Hecate and communicates with her excellently, um, so I'd really like to get, like, more into those types of deities as well. As soon as I understand all of Egyptology, I'll move on, you know? Um, so yes, deity associated as Hecate, part used, the bulb or the flower. So this is the bulb, and then the flower would be what came out of the top of the ground, okay? Basic powers, protection and exorcism, specific uses, take garlic with you on trips over water to prevent drowning, sailors carry it with them on board to prevent wreckage of the ship, peel cloves of the fresh bulb, and place one in each room where disease threatens. Italian once bit the herb when evil spirits surrounded them, uh, or when they felt Fear, very fearful. Hang up in a newly built home. The flowers are often used to decorate protective altars. Add to all protective sachets. Hang up a rope of garlic in the kitchen. So that's a true thing from Hollywood and cinema, you guys. Hanging up a rope of garlic will ward off evil. Mm. So in newly built homes. The flowers are often used to decorate protective altars. Add to all protective sachets, uh, hang a rope of garlic in the kitchen, sorry I repeated myself. Uh, also use an exorcisms. Mountain climbers carry to keep fair weather on their expeditions. So that's what there is to say in there um, about garlic. Garlic's good. The sushi restaurant I work at makes a spicy tuna roll. Now listen, it doesn't sound good, but it's so good. Really thinly sliced garlic, green onions, Japanese mayonnaise, tuna, or any type of fish, but tuna, chili oil, and then he puts like little slices of habanero in it, um, and then rolls it up tight with the rice on the outside. Woo! It is so, so, so good. Yeah, I can make it actually. I make it for my family sometimes. Okay, so there's so many medicinal things about garlic. I, I'm going to do a separate video on medicinal things about garlic. It's just huge, and it deserves its own category aside from magic. So just know that. And also I'll say it's a natural antibiotic. So if you're sick and you need something, like when I was little and we didn't have money to go to the doctor, I'm being honest, we didn't have money to go to the doctor. So like my mom would um, cut a piece of garlic and put half of it in my ear and put a band-aid over it and the, the open side was toward my ear and it would seriously like pretty much cure it up. So my mom was doing some like homeopathic stuff with me just because they didn't know what else to do, you know. Three kids, no money, hard times. Okay, so garlic in uh, Wicca in the kitchen, so now we're talking about ingesting it. There's a lot to say. Planet Mars, element fire, energies, protection and health, lore. In antiquity, garlic uh, was given to insane persons in the belief that it would cure them. The conquering Romans spread garlic throughout their newly acquainted lands, 
and Roman soldiers ate garlic for courage in the battle. <clears throat> Around the Mediterranean, and particularly in Italy, um, okay. garlic is considered an excellent protection against evil, and the power of the smelly bulb against vampires is another example of this belief from Eastern Europe. Vampires came way after witches, just so you know. Witches were long before. Uh, in 1597, an Englishman wrote, If a woman cannot smell the savor of garlic being set by her bedside at night, she is undoubtedly with child. Garlic was once also thought to keep rats and mice from fruit-bearing trees. Okay, on to magical uses. Uh, the intensity of the smell and taste of this fresh garlic makes it useful in protective diets. If you enjoy garlic, by all means, add it to a diet designed to guard yourself. And this is true. I know that from the health aspect as well, that that makes sense. Um, some experts say that we should eat a clove of fresh garlic every day for good health. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm going to interrupt the book and say um, garlic is a natural antibiotic. And if you take a regular or any kind of antibiotic too much, as just something to eat, when you need it as a, as a drug, as an herbal remedy, it won't work because you've always been eating it, it's just in your system. So, and also garlic and onions and meat really mess up your meditations. You'll have a much clear mind if you take those out of your diet. And that's just what from what I've read from Indian texts, from Paramahansa Yogananda suggestions, um, and that's who wrote an autobiography of a yogi. So I just want to talk a little bit about eating too much garlic. Well, it won't be able to save you later on if you needed it, you know, if we were in dire times. And by the way, you guys, antibiotics never, ever, 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 ever leave your system. It stays in your bones. And so does every single medication. So you really need to think about that when you take them. Maybe you could try an herbal remedy first because those flush through your system, you know. Okay. <clears throat> I love you guys, I'm just trying to take care of you and be a sister um, to all of you, you know. Yeah. Some experts say that we should eat a clove of fresh garlic every day for good health. This presents no problem to garlic lovers who even enjoy garlic ice cream. Cool, it sounds like, um, what's that Japanese show? Um, Iron Chef, but not new Iron Chef. I'm talking about old Iron Chef where it was like voice dubbed over and she's like, oh, I like this so much. This is so good. It's like the American people were putting in the voice for the little Japanese lady. Oh my gosh. Oh, old, try and YouTube um, old Iron Chef or the first Iron Chef episode because it's not anything like it is today on Food Network. It used to be on like PBS or something. Don't go on a rant, Jen. <laughs> If you're not ready for a daily clove, simply add some garlic to your food every day for continuing good health. Visualize as you cook and eat. Use only fresh garlic. No freeze-dried, dehydrated, or bottled garlic. Ugh, Alex is always bringing bottled garlic into the house and I'm like, why? You paid like 15 bucks for that jar and then we could just have this for like $2 and it stays fresh and it's just so much better. I don't know. My opinion. Scotty's opinion. What's your opinion? <laughs> okay, now we're on to uh, Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham. My Scotty. Okay, folk names for garlic. Ajo, Spanish. Poor man's treacle. Stinkweed. Stinkweed makes sense. It's smelly. Gender masculine. Planet Mars. Uh, element fire. Deity Hecate. Powers, protection, healing, exorcism, lust and anti-theft. That's fantastic. Because it will ward off evil right when you hang a string. Uh, and lately I've been trying to keep my house from any kind of like burglary antics and whatnot. And whatnots. Okay, so magical uses for garlic. Garlic was once worn to guard against the plague. It is still used to absorb disease. Simply rub fresh peeled cloves of garlic onto the affected parts of the body, then throw into running water. An old spell utilized garlic in protecting against hepatitis. To do this, simply wear 13 cloves of garlic at the end of a cord around the neck for 13 days. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, on the last day in the middle of the night, 
walk to a corner of the intersection of two streets, remove the necklace, throw it behind you, and run home without looking back. So much energy in that, you guys. 13 days wearing something around your neck, uh, altering your life so that nobody sees that, or whatever you have to, like, I, so much intention goes into that. The number 13, kind of look it up and see what it's about. Pfft, making 13 videos today if I can. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, garlic is uh, also extremely protective. I love the cure. <laughs> All right. Uh, protective. Sailors carry some while on board ship to protect against its wreckage. Soldiers wore garlic as a defense in the Middle Ages, while Roman soldiers ate it to give them courage. It is placed in the home to guard against the, uh, the intrusion of evil, to keep the robbers and to keep out the robbers and thieves, and is hung over the door to repel envious people. Okay, if you don't want people to come in that have the evil eye for you, you put garlic there. I'm doing it tonight. I'm gonna try and make these into a string. I don't have 13 cloves, or 13 bulbs, but I think I can make out a string out of 13 cloves, okay? Just make it what you can, you know? It'll work. It'll work for me, and then Alex will still have a little fresh garlic for his pickles or whatever he's doing. Okay. Garlic is especially protective in new homes. Uh, worn garlic guards against foul weather. Uh, mountaineers wear it as <clears throat> mountaineers wear it. Where are we? As well as monsters. <laughs> what? Yeah, mountaineers wear it as well as monsters, and also shields you from the blows of your enemies. Maybe they won't be able to hit you with the punch because the garlic will ward it off. <clears throat> when evil spirits are about, bite into a garlic to send them away. You could keep some by your bed if you felt like there was an evil spirit uh, getting to you at night. You could keep a clove by your bed and bite into it. That's my opinion from what he says right here. Um, sprinkle, um, when, also when evil spirits are about, you can... Um, Bite into the garlic to send them away, or sprinkle powdered garlic on the floor. If you don't find, uh, if you don't mind smelling it for some time, garlic is also placed beneath children's pillows to protect them while sleep. That makes sense because it would ward off evil, you know. Um, and so, if you're going to make a pillow for your child and they have bad dreams, that'd be a great thing to put in there. Uh, just put a bunch of lavender over it so they can't smell the garlic or something. Mm -hmm. And brides once carried a clove of garlic in her pocket for good luck and to keep evil uh, far from her on her big day. I should have done that on my first. <laughs> That's a dumb thing to say. Uh, good for brides to know, right? Uh, rubbed into pots and pans before cooking in them, garlic removes negative vibrations. Nice! It would also flavor the pan, um, which might otherwise contaminate the food. Wow. Wow. When eaten, garlic acts as a lust inducer, and uh, when a magnet or lodestone, which I really want, is rubbed with garlic, it loses its magical powers. When, wow. If you rub a magnet or a lodestone with garlic, it will lose its magical powers. That's crazy. Okay, just two little snippets, and uh, we're not too far into the video, so that's good. All it says in this book, all it says is... Garlic. Protection, banishing, purification. That's it. In the whole book. Kinda disappointed with that book and it was really expensive and it's got the pages where you can't flip through properly like because they look really cool. You know these old like Harry Potter like pages but you can't find your page number because 10 at a time come out. So I mean it's a difficult book um, but if you're not able to make your own spells, that's kind of a good book. It was just a basis for me to kind of figure out what I was doing. And then I just ran off on my own. So, last one we have to talk about is Supermarket Sabbaths. And, uh, it's just a snippet. Garlic. And we look in this one for the polarity because none of the other books have it. 
Garlic, element, fire, planet, Mars, uh, polarity, yin, or yang, uh, power, love, and money are the magical uses, okay? Hmm, 15 minutes. I guess I'll try and throw some of the garlic medicinals in here. But I'm just telling you that there's loads of stuff to say about it. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a different video on it. But just remember, it's a really amazing natural antibiotic. And you should get a naturopath if you don't have one. Because we should always choose the herbs first. And then go with the conventional medicine, the allopathic, the pills. Remember, those things are brand new in this world. They've only been around the last hundred years. Herbs, acupuncture, massage, all of that has been around for thousands of thousands of years. Chinese medicine, Chinese herbs, it's saving my father's life. He was on his deathbed 10 years ago and he started seeing a naturopath and that's a long story that I'll tell you about in Tuesday story time. But man, I am so on board with naturopaths and everything that they have uh, to do about them. So. I hope that you enjoyed our video on garlic, and uh, I may or may not make a medicinal video on garlic, but I, I, I will try. It won't be tonight, though. I'm done talking about garlic for whatever reason. So, garlic! And if you want to see um, Miss Eleanor. Well, anyway. Have a beautiful night, you guys. Much love. Come back and see me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch.